Hello everybody, it's Mrs Main here. We hope you're all having fun at home and staying safe. And today I thought I'd read you a story. And the story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And it's a lift the flap story. Okay, ready? Goldilocks had big brown eyes and such a pretty smile. She wore her curly yellow hair in a funky dreadlock style. While skipping through the woods one day, behind some trees she saw a little house and bold as brass, she barged right through the door. Birdies. And there she goes into the house. The house was still and quiet for the owners had gone out. Oh goody giggle Goldilocks, now I can snoop about. She went into the kitchen and she opened cupboard doors. She checked the fridge and the bread bin and she looked in all the drawers. She saw three bowls of porridge. Yum, she said, and like a shot. She started on the biggest one, but it was much too hot. The porridge in the middle bowl was cold and made her frown. The little bowl just tasted great. She gobbled it right down. What have we got in the washing machine? Oh, underwear. And through the window, we've got socks on the washing line. Goldilocks went into the lounge in the biggest chair she sat, but it was hard as iron and she didn't care for that. The middle chair which was much too soft. She liked the smallest chair, but then it broke and she ended up with two legs in the air. Oh dear, she's broken it. There's a little mouse on the chair. I wonder what's upstairs, she said. She went to take a peep. And when she saw three beds, she simply had to have a sleep. The big bed was too fancy. The middle bed was boring. The little bed was perfect and soon Goldilocks was snoring. Now, three brown bears lived in this house and they came back from their stroll. Daddy Bear growled, Somebody's been at my porridge bowl. Mine as well, cried Mummy Bear. And Baby Bear squeaked, oh, someone's eaten all my porridge. What a greedy so-and-so. Oh, poor Baby Bear. It's got no porridge left. The three bears went into the lounge. Aha, growled Daddy Bear. I do believe that somebody's been sitting in my chair. My chair too, cried Mummy Bear. And Baby Bear squeaked, Boo-hoo! My little chair's been broken! What a clumsy thing to do! Oh, poor Baby Bear. We've got a mouse and an apple corn. They went upstairs and Daddy Bear stroked his chin and said, it looks to me like someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mummy Bear cried, mine as well. It makes me feel quite ill. And Baby Bear squeaked, my bed too. And look, she's in it still. Oh, let's look at the evidence. Daddy Bear's got beads. Mummy Bear's got a bracelet. Baby bear. <gasps> Goldilocks is in the bed. They all stared down at Goldilocks, just waking from her dream. She saw three furry faces and she gave a piercing scream. Ah! 
She didn't hang about. She ran straight home, you can be sure. And next time that the bears went out, guess what? They locked their door. Well, thank you for listening to my Goldilocks story. I'll be back again soon with another story another time. So bye-bye, everyone. And do you think I may have bears in my house?